All right, hey friends. Our directed draw today is we are going to be drawing a uh, really cute cartoon squid. As you might notice, we have a bit of an ocean theme going on. So it goes nicely with our great wave. Uh, we've drawn some pretty cute lobsters this week. If you were a group that didn't get to draw lobster, let me know. I'll shoot you guys the link on how to do that because those are really funny. Um, and then we're going to finish our week with this cute squid. And again, just like with our lobsters and anything else we draw, you change it any way you want. I'm going to walk you through the basics on how to draw this squid. You change the color. You change what it's holding. You can, you guys can have your squid wearing a, a top hat or taking a lobster for a walk. I don't know. You guys can get really silly with this, I'm sure. Okay, so let me walk you through how to do this. I'm going to draw in Sharpie, but you guys should probably draw in pencil, especially if you're going to go back and add things and change it. Okay, let me turn my camera around and we'll get started right away. Um, I'm going to tear this picture out because I need to look at it again so I can remember exactly what I'm doing. Here we go. Piece of paper should be vertical. And I always like to start with the face. So again, just like what I always tell you guys, I'm going to start with the eyes about yay big and again if you want to have your squid wearing sunglasses wearing an eye patch maybe you make a pirate squid you guys can of course go back and change any of those things super cute up here between the eyes I'm gonna do a bit of a smile but then I'm gonna round it and bring it around back this way. I have no idea what an actual squid's mouth looks like. I'm sure it doesn't look like a jelly bean, but we're gonna just make this work, guys. It's a cartoon. Um, that's a tongue, so a little rainbow arch inside. I'm gonna color in all around the inside. I'm gonna leave my rainbow arch alone. That'll be pink later, because it's gonna be a tongue. Okay. Next part, we're going to be drawing kind of a U shape, but it's going to be narrower at the top. So here we go. And bring it up. And then if I were to go right in half, I'm going to put a dot here as my halfway point. And now I'm going to give it kind of its little fins on the top. So I'm going to put out lines like this. And then I'm going to connect it all. looking good so far. So next we have to give our squid, um, we're going to give it six legs and two tentacles. So I'm going to start out by these tentacles first. I'm going to do a little S curve. I'm going to do a matching line. And on the end, I'm going to do kind of like a, a leaf. Same thing over here, but maybe the opposite side. I'll do the S curve so we can kind of have a little bit of balance or some symmetry here. And then I'm going to do, and if you guys want, you can put those little like suckers on there like an octopus would have. You don't have to, it's just a little detail that if you want to make it look a little bit more interesting, you can do that. You don't have to. If you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do all these things. Odds are you can, but you can always go back and do it later. So now it needs eight legs. This is going to work. It's going to get a little wild. So we're going to do a lot of overlapping because we're going to run out of room if we don't. So start out with a leg. I have it going behind this tentacle. And up, pick up my pen and bring it together and then just kind of like connect it at the bottom. Okay, so that's one. Let's do, I'm going to do another one going over here. Here's two. And again, you guys, you can have them going all over the place. I'm going to have this one going up. And you need to kind of figure out, okay, the line's going to go here. And then continue it. Got one, lay two, three. Let's do another one, maybe crossing this way. like trying to keep everything together here. Okay, I'm going to have one curling up and over. 
Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to have another one going off the page. Seven. And let's see. Get this one curling back if you want to, lay it onto the paper. All right. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely gets a little confusing, a little, a little wild in there, and that's okay. When you guys go to color yours, you guys can color it any way you want. I use markers. You guys can use whatever you have handy.